Hello, my name is David Wise. I'm a technical consulting engineer for the data center ACI team at Cisco Systems. In this video, I will go over some key requirements and configurations needed for an ER span, then finish the video with a demo of configuring ER span. Before we get started, please know that all URLs referenced in this video can be found in the description below. The first requirement for an ER span is that the destination IP must be learned in the fabric as an endpoint. In other words, a layer three endpoint. Please know that the destination IP does not need to be in the same BRF as the mirrored traffic. Lastly, the destination can be deployed anywhere in the fabric. The monitored traffic is forwarded to the destination wherever the endpoint is located. For more information, please refer to the APIC troubleshooting guide, specifically the span guidelines and restriction section. There's a link to the guide in the description below. Now we will walk through configuring an ER span in the APIC GUI. Before moving on to the GUI, let's quickly go over my topology. In my ACI fabric, I will be mirroring traffic from a VPC in an L3 out on leafs 101 and 103. The destination for my ER span will be a VM connected to LEAF 104. In the GUI, we will start by configuring the ER span destination, then configure the ER span source, which in my topology was a VPC. Now let's move to the APIC GUI. To start, navigate to your access policies, then open the policies folder, troubleshooting folder, and span folder. We'll start by first configuring the destination. In the upper right hand corner, select the icon to create a span destination. We'll first start by configuring the name of the destination. Make sure EPG is selected and search for our tenant application profile in EPG, which should have already been created. Next, when selecting the version, know that the difference between the two is within the GRE header. In my demo, I will select version one. Then check the box below to enforce the version. Lastly, configure the destination IP, which is your ER span destination endpoint, and configure the source IP. Both IP addresses are used in the outer header of your ER span. Now click Submit, and you should see your span destination group created here. Now we'll configure the source group. Click on the icon in the upper right hand corner to create your span source group. Start by configuring the name, then ensure the admin state is set to enabled. Next, find your destination group that you just created. Now click the plus icon to configure your source path. Start by configuring the name. And in my example, I will select routed outside because I am mirroring traffic from an L3 out. I will search for the name of my L3 out, which I'm mirroring traffic from. The name of my L3 out is OSPF1 and I'll be mirroring traffic from VLAN 2101. Lastly, I need to specify the interface of where the mirrored traffic is from. Those interfaces are a part of a VPC on LEAFs 101 and 103. Once done, select OK, OK again, and finally, Submit. You should see your source group created here. Now I will show a demonstration of what a ping would look like in Wireshark that went through my L3 out. I will start my Wireshark and initiate a ping. Here you can see the ping that went through the L3 out. If you are still unable to see your mirror traffic, please reach out to Cisco TAC for assistance. 
Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this information useful.